you are very interested in buying cryptocurrency by yourself okay this video is for you so come closer make sure you watch this video to the end because i'll be showing you how to buy usdt a cryptocurrency stable coin that is pegged to us dollar so one usdt is equivalent to one us dollar so with this usdt you'll be able to buy cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum litecoin binance and other cryptocurrency now in order for you to start buying usdt you need to create bitget account so make sure you check the description box below for the bitget registration link click on the registration link to register and after your registration go to play store or app store and search for bitget and once you search for bitget you're going to see bitget exchange and bitget wallet you have to download bitget exchange okay because that is where you can buy usdt in order for you to buy other cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum litecoin binance kava solana etc blah 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 so the bitget wallet is actually a decentralized wallet so you can create a wallet on bitget wallet without email so you be given 12 words 12 citrus which you have to keep you have to keep it safe okay so the bitget exchange is actually what we need okay you can buy your bitcoin your solana from bitget exchange and transfer or withdraw it to your bitget wallet okay so now make sure you download and install the bitget exchange very important and you can as well download the bitget wallet too so but what we need okay it's a bit get exchange for us to buy the usdt okay so once you are done downloading the bit get exchange the next thing for you is to log in through the bit get exchange hub and once you log in through the bit get exchange hub the next thing is to click on this drop down menu here at the left top corner so once you click on it you are to verify your account with a valid id you can use a driver's license you can use international passport you can use your nrn okay just make sure you use a valid id that has not expired okay so it must be valid and once you're done with your verification you can go ahead to perform transaction so now i'm going to be showing you how to buy your usdt and how to sell your usdt through the p2p and also how you can buy other cryptocurrency like bitcoin solana and other altcoins so once you are done with your verification so on this home page here you're going to see more next thing is to click more okay once you click on more uh, to click on p2p which actually means peer to peer also known as person to person so on this p2p page we have p2p at the top here and we have express we have the buy and the sell right here this is buy and this is sell at the front of buy so now i normally use p2p instead of this express okay with this express you don't have to search for uh offers okay so this express is like automatic okay so but p2p you have to actually search okay for uh the offer or of your choice okay so you select your choice okay so there are different offers right here so we have people that are selling at the rate of 1736 point nine dollars okay uh one thousand seven hundred eighty six point nine per dollar so we also have people that are selling at the rate of one thousand seven hundred eighty eight uh naira per dollar okay so you have to select your choice and there are some factors you need to consider before you select any of this offer if you want to buy your usdt Okay, these are offers from different merchants okay so now let's take a look at this one right here that is the 20 so as you can see right here 
this person offers 1,786 per dollar and look at the front here this person has done 5,424 orders in the last 30 days and this person has 100% completion rate so it's better to go for people like this so take note of this factor anybody you want to buy from or any merchant you want to buy USDT from must have at least 1,000 uh, orders completed in the last 30 days okay with 90 to 100 percent completion rate take note of that let me repeat it again so if you want to buy okay or even sell to any merchant make sure they have 1000 orders completed in the last 30 days at least 1000 then their completion rate should be between 90 to 100 percent okay this will save you time and also it will it will help you you know to buy your usdt faster because these people that has thousands others completed in the last 30 days they normally uh respond faster because there are some merchants you are going to uh buy from when you send cash to them it might take you know hours before they release the usdt so let's say we want to buy okay from any of this merchant now so we have another one i'm just going to use any of this as a, as an example this is another one over 1000 uh 323 orders in the last 30 days with 100 percent completion rate i'm going to click on buy and once i click on buy okay i'm going to type in the amount that i want to buy so take note the amount you want to buy let's say you want to buy let's say 500,000 naira worth of usdt now this particular merchant does not have up to 500,000 naira worth of usdt okay so what am i going to do what i'm going to do is to go back and scroll up and click on limit right here so once i click on limit i'm going to type 500,000 okay then click on confirm so once i click on confirm it will show me the merchants that are capable of you know giving me 500,000 dollars worth of usdt so as you can see there's one here so i'm gonna click on buy this person has about thousand plus orders in the last 30 days completed and 99 percent completion rate so i'm gonna click on it okay so you can also click this is merchant info so if you click on the merchant name this is the merchant name right here you are going to see more details about the merchant you see other people's feedback about the merchant so this person has 48 positive comment and just two negative comments okay so this person you can buy from this person okay so and as it stands right now the maximum this i can even buy from this person is not up to five hundred thousand. okay so since it's like this you go back again and check for another one okay so here's another one so if you click on max 468,000 look for another one again okay so this one too not up to 500,000 so check for another one again so there are so many of us okay so this one is 3 million plus okay 1,880 USDT so this person here is capable of giving us 500,000 worth of USDT okay that's 287 USDT then we're going to click on buy USDT with zero fee okay so this is just a tutorial p2p order notification so i'm actually going to cancel this order because 
I'm not buying USDT right now. I have, I even have USDT that I, I'm going to sell. Okay, but this is just to show you guys exactly how it's being done. Okay, so I can click cancel now to cancel. Okay, but let's say I want to make payment. I'm going to click on next. Okay, so as so I click on next, I'm going to copy this account number go to my bank hub okay and paste this account number then search for the bank name money points then also copy the amount this is the amount right here then paste it and send after sending i'm gonna click on page okay so immediately you send click on paid so that the merchant will be notified and the merchant will be able to release your USDT. Take note of that. So once that is done, within few minutes, okay, your USDT will be released. Okay, so I'm gonna click on cancel. And there is this. Confirm. So now, immediately your USDT is released. It will show under your balance here. So when you click on assets, okay, it will show under funding. It's going to show under funding, okay. So from from funding, you can now transfer to your sports wallet, okay. So I already have two hundred USDT in my sport wallet, okay. So this two hundred dollars, I want to sell it. I'm going to move it to my funding wallet but before i sell it i'm going to show you how you can use it to buy other cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum solana avalanche so now this usdt i'm going to use it to buy let's say litecoin so i'm going to click on home so you can either click on home or you click on market or you click on trade okay so i prefer to click on home then go to the search bar here click on the search bar and type the coin i want to buy so you search for the coin you want to buy so if it is btc search for btc if it is litecoin that's the ltc search for it then you click on it you're going to see spot take note spot so and here we have features so these are different okay spot is actually different from features okay so with spot you are buying and selling you know uh, immediately so with features you are longing you are shorting okay so and with these features if care is not taken you can easily lose your money and at the same time if you're lucky you make so much profit so but take note of this spot you have to select spot so i'm gonna click on trade okay so and the next thing is to click on you know uh buy it's already on buy unless i want to sell i'll click on sell okay so i'm gonna click on buy and we have limit order here so this limit order means if i want to set price of you no know, let's say I want to buy this light coin now at $85 currently on light coin is $88 but you know I am very sure that the price will drop to $85 I'll just set it to $85 okay and you know type the quantity or just click on this and move it to the right so then i'll click on buy ltc okay so and once i click on buy ltc let me click on buy ltc now let me shift this one to the left so if i click on buy ltc now and click on confirm an order will be created okay another will be what will be created so i'm going to cancel this order for this order to be fulfilled litecoin must 
pay $85. The price must go back to $85. Okay. So that's the function of the limit order. Okay. So you can use market order with market order. This is market. You buy instantly, immediately based on the current market price. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on this and ship this here and click on buy LTC. Okay. So if I click on confirm now, automatically the order has been executed. So if I click on asset, okay, and click on uh, sports, okay. So on that spot, you see the Litecoin and you see the USDT. So as you can see, my $200 now is now 199.9 USD. Why? Whenever you trade, there is always a trading fee. So a trading fee has been deducted. That's why my $200 has reduced to this. Okay. So if Litecoin price increases or let's say it gets to $100 per Litecoin, you know, the my money will increase because what I, what I used in buying LTC now is about $50. Okay. So it will increase. So if I want to sell this Litecoin again, all I just have to do is to click on LTC, then click on trade or click on LTC slash USDT. Okay. I want to convert it to USDT, or you, if, let's say you want to convert it to BTC, click on LTC slash BTC. So, let us see, you can click on trade, okay? So, you click on sell, and once you click on sell, I'm going to shift this to 100% to sell everything. Sell LTC, confirm. It's done, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, so the next thing I'm going to do right now is to transfer this USDT to my funding wallet. So I'm going to click on funding, then click on transfer. Okay, then click on this BTC, then click on this USDT, then click on call and click on farm to transfer because for me to sell my USDT it must be moved to the funding wallet okay and also when you buy your USDT from the P2P it should be on the funding wallet so it is you that will not transfer it to your spot uh, wallet so from your sports wallet you can use it to buy any coin you like like Litecoin like Solana just like I showed you so once you do that once you buy your let's say your litecoin or whatever coin you buy you can decide to click on the coin and withdraw to withdraw it you click this three dot here at uh, the left down corner so once you click on it you're going to see withdraw click on withdraw click on on chain withdrawal okay to withdraw to let's see your bit get wallet so you go to your BitGet wallet or any of your decentralized wallet, copy your Litecoin address, paste it here inside the withdrawal address box, type in the amount, okay, or you click all, then you click on withdraw. So that does it. So now I'm going to click on home and I'm going to click on more. I want to sell this 200 USDT now. I'm going to click on P2P and i'm going to click on sell okay so i'm going to click on limits because i don't want to waste my time searching searching okay and i'm not using express so i'm using p2p i'm going to click on limits and type let's say 300,000 okay because 200 dollars is more than 300,000 error so i'm going to click on confirm okay so as you can see I now have my chance that I can sell my uh, USDT too okay so this is one right here so this is 
So take note of the factors that I told you you must consider. Their completion rates and the amount of orders they've completed in the last 30 days. So this one has completed over 1,135 orders in the last 30 days and 100% completion rate. I'm going to click on sell. And uh, this person actually paid within 60 minutes. So if I if I don't want someone that pays within 60 minutes, maybe I want someone that pays within 30 minutes or, or uh, 15 minutes, I can go search for another merchant. So these are down right here. I'll click on sell. This person pays within 15 minutes. I'm gonna click on max. Okay, I'm selling all. And I'm gonna click on bank transfer, then select any of my bank account so if you don't if you are yet to add your bank account you need to click on hard to add your bank account so you search for your bank okay or you click bank transfer so you just add your bank account i already had it mine so i'm going to select my other bank account then i'm going to click on sell usdt okay so once i click on sell I have to wait for the buyer to make payment so i'm going to click on the contact info this is the contact info so here you can message the merchant okay so you can chat with the buyer or the seller so this person says drop numbers and fast payment on third party so actually it's not advisable to drop your phone number okay so but at the same time uh it helps okay when you drop your phone number maybe you forgot to release the person asset the merchant will call you to remind you and you'll be able to release the asset so i normally drop my phone number so this person has actually made the payment okay so i will go and check my app my bank app to confirm one six three five seven two send so i'll check i'll check my bank app to confirm and once i check my bank app to confirm then i will now release the coin okay so take notes you must not release you must not click on this release button without receiving payment okay so uh don't rely on sms alerts because there are, might be fake alerts you must always check your app your bank app okay so as you can see this is successful okay this is successful so the fund as reflect so and the next thing I have to do is to release this. Okay, I'm going to click on release and I'll click I have confirmed receipt. Then I'll click on confirm right here. Then I will enter my funding code. Okay, so after entering my after entering my funding code, the next thing is to click on confirm. Okay and automatically the 200 usdt will be released to the merchant so that's how it works so i really hope you find this video helpful i know this video is long but i think it's really worth it if you gain value in this video if you find so much value in this video make sure you like and most importantly subscribe tap the bell button to get notifications anytime i upload new videos and don't forget to share this video to your friends okay don't be selfish thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace